guys welcome back to another video before we even get started you guys already know what to do make sure you subscribe like comment on this video i'm blurring my eye and don't forget to click that notification bell so that every time i upload a video you guys will be able to see it will be the first to know so as you can see by the title yes this is a haul this is a what i got today <laughs> um so i went to work we had gratis from yesterday but i'm not going to show the gratis that we got from work i got like a little bit but i'm going to show you what i got today's gratis we did get fenty product from gratis i might mention that as a matter of fact we got like a gold highlighter because ultras are now getting fenty and we got this little holder i just wanted to show this how cute this is little keychain come with a little fenty holder this is the fenty cream gloss so basically, I'm not gonna take the whole thing out, but you get the memo. And bruh, I could just literally just go like this. But yeah, and we had a Fenty highlighter, which is this gold that you see on my eyelids as well, but it was two gold. So I gave it to my mom because it fits her beautiful complexion. Dark skinned women, all when it comes to like different golds, like especially the like the gold golds my dark skin women look good in it but yes a couple of things i bought today so much from gratis and not to mention we got something from influencer we're gonna show that one first but let me just put this disclaimer, disclaimer out i am so bad at uploading videos on youtube i have so many in draft and i delete them because they're not good so i know i have a q a video to do i know i ask questions i asked y'all what do y'all have questions about beginner skincare makeup friendly i did not forget about that i'll be doing that sometime hopefully i can do it after this video hopefully um but this is definitely gonna be uploaded because this is a haul and it has to be uploaded has to be i'm gonna try to be consistent but let me know in the comments below what would you like to see on this channel specifically because i love vlogging i'm gonna get back into it. i'm gonna try to upload more vlogs as possible so because i'm not consistent with that you know you see what i mean like i'm not consistent with this type of stuff so i need to work on that so I came from work and my parents had this in their hands. Now, this one is the hair box box. It's the Bleach London from this fancy brand. I do have a Dior one, but but this thing. I was looking in my influencer app, right? And it was like, oh, you have your London one, but you also have Dior. I said, Dior? Dior is sending me an, a box box influencer. What, what, what's going on here? What is that? What, what, what am I? What? 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 <laughs> I'm excited, but if you want box boxes like these, um, you can download the app and basically what you do is you just take different surveys. You can if you want to, you don't have to, but also what they do is like you will take a product like Fenty, of course, and you will go and upload your review on it. Take pics, of course, um, connect your social media, and that way other people can see it, and then they comment and, you know, add, because a lot of people will do reviews on Influencer on different things. They do food, snacks, hair, makeup, body, games. It's just so much stuff that you can do. And sometimes, to be honest, some people don't do server, uh, reviews at all, and they just be receiving these box boxes. But I would say this is like my third hair box box I've, I've been sent. I've been sent one box box that was with Charlotte Tilbury. And then I was sent the Cream of Nature new line. Now I'm saying getting sent the bleach stuff. Knowing that I love bleaching my hair. But I need to go back and do that. But let's get into opening this. I'm not going to show my dress. My bottom. This is what we got. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited y'all. I'm really excited. Alright. So it is the Bleach London Just Diet Vegan and Cruelty Free hair products from london's leading color salon now this is the uk based brand y'all and i've been getting sent like prestigious items not drugstore prestigious so like when i say prestigious, i mean like high-end products whether it's hair whether it's makeup y'all it says make sure you read all the instructions blah 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 you must perform a skin sensitive test in or strand hair of products head to bleachlondon.com for your skin sensitive brands etc 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 but this is what it looks like and you can see all the uh, different people's hair color when they bleach and they apply color on top. Y'all, this one right here, this haircut right here, if y'all can see that. Period, sis. Period. Okay. Black paper. Do you want to be in the picture? So they sent me two different ones. <laughs> they sent me two different ones, you guys, if you guys can see them. 
this one says white toner so it says banish yellow from your blonde professional standard home toning kit ammonia free this box is made from recycled cardboard warning for external use only this product is not intended for use on persons under the age of 16. always read and follow instructions hair consultants can cause severe allergic reactions Temporary black henna tattoos may increase risk of allergy. So, I know a lot of people don't like to read instructions, but if they're saying that it's an age restriction, you probably should follow that. Most people are like, oh, they're just saying it's not for, it's for a reason. When companies and stuff put stuff, it's not just because they're just putting, on, putting it on there just to put it on there. They're putting it on there for a specific reason. <laughs> but, um, it says, do not color hair if you have a rash in your face, a sensitive irritator or damaged scalp, you have ever experienced any reaction after coloring your hair. You have experienced reaction to a temporary black henna tattoo in the past. So yeah. And here's your instructions on how to use it. Using a non-metallic non -metallic spoon and bowl. Mix one tablespoon of colorant with two, spoons, two teaspoons of de developer cream. Use a cotton swab to apply a thin layer of the mix to one centimeter or half an inch area inside of the, the elbow. Do not cover or disturb for 45 minutes. Avoid contact with clothes. Rinse out the lukewarm water after 45 minutes. If any reaction occurs during this process of timing or follow 48 hours, do not use this product. So, yeah. Sorry, I love my little brother. But, yeah, I read the instructions very, very carefully when it comes to dyeing. And I've never used a toner before because most of my bleaches came with a toner. So, this right here is something I will have to be really, really careful with. Um, so, yeah. Where it's all with lukewarm water. So yeah. It says how does it work? Of course, bleach your hair and next up toner. So you bleach and then you tone. So basically this is like a two-step process. Bleach, then you tone. Um, and I have a one month before I have to do this whole campaign and upload on Instagram and stuff like that. So it gives me a whole month. So then that way I know what I'm doing <laughs> versus just trying to go in and do what I'm doing. But it says bleach your hair, um, Next up, toner is easy, completely safe for your hair. Helps balance all your blonde, whether you're coloring it or leaving it as. So even if you color it after you tone it. So whenever doing this type of process, I get about three weeks before I even go and color my hair. So even a month, because when you're messing with blonde, it will damage your hair if you constantly keep doing it. Um, this was the first toner's bleach founder, Alex Brownsell, developed in her East London salon and deposits cool blue base color into bleach strands. To neutralize brass yells for a pristine platinum finish or first layer for a color cooler, sharper color on top. So in my hair, most people say if you get like I will have virgin hair, my hair can take stuff like this. And most likely I don't even need a toner to just go in and do what I gotta do. Cause once I leave it in, like my hair be white with just a bleach. There's bleach in my hair. But if you see in the back, you can see like the different colors and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> Like, you see that? Right. Focus, focus. But yeah, you can see that. Um, roots, you can do roots, highlights, dip, dye, full head, bleach, bit, whatever you want to do. Aftercare, reapply toner every 14 to 16 washes or whenever it starts to fade to keep your white blonde clean using the reincarnation mask included to help nourish strands. So this is a whole kit that includes so much stuff in it. And then you have, so you do this one first. Then you go back and tone. So basically, the tone is to keep up with it, to not make it so brassy and yellow and stuff like that, which I really kind of don't mind. I mean, this thing lights up to up to seven levels of your hair color. So in the back of the thing, it shows you what your hair will actually look like once you dye it. So here's like the different colors it turns to. With me, my hair could be black and my hair would go fully white because I leave it on for like that, for like 45 minutes. Um, so it says, do not use this product if your hair has been bleached, high lifted, tinted, or color restored, may chemically straighten, keratin straighten, relax or perm, as with other chemical surfaces, over processing may change your hair texture and curl pattern. But yeah, um, it says, after carry bleach your hair roots every six to eight weeks. Every six to eight weeks is when you should go back and dye your hair blonde to keep your uh, look fresh and avoid banding. Always follow the bleach a toner to create an even finish or clean base for adding color, etc. 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 So basically these are kits to keep up with your blonde. Like I would recommend everybody who tries to do like a blonde wait after six to eight weeks before you go back and re-blonde. 
That's why, I mean, reblonde. That's why you have your toner. So that way you can tone it up every 14, 16 every 14 16 washes you wash your hair you go back and tone up but thank you influencer for sending me this pro i know that i just spent a lot of time talking but that's part of the video so yeah it's a lot of toner in here you see how my siblings just walk in on me like this but yeah here's a lot of this stuff right here so you got your bleach and you got your toner bleach toner it's a two-step process That's, they only gave me a month to get to view it, so that's like more than enough time because I already like, you know, yeah, no. But um, I picked up a few things from Ulta, and this was the first thing that I picked up. It's the survival, survival to for sunny days. This kit was twenty four bucks. It originally would have been fifty two. So the fact that I only paid twenty four that is. It's the Clinique After Sun Rescue Balm with Aloe. Then you have the Boss Spectrum SPF 50, uh, UVA, UVB, Invisible Shield Technology, Mineral Sunscreen, Fluid for Face, Sensitive Skin Formula, and the Moisture Search Spray. Y'all, I love Clinique's Moisture Search line. It is so freaking hydrating. Like, y'all don't understand how good that stuff is. And it keeps the moisture locked in, whether you're oily, whether you're dry. And most people who are oily think that you should use something to dry it out. You don't want to do that. What it does is when you apply moisture to your face, it's going to slow the oils down, but it's going to keep that moisture locked in your face. And that's what the Clinique Moisture Search does. Um, we're going to go actually unbox it. So it comes like this individually. And the reason why I'm used before I open it, the reason why I needed this, because I got this in gratis and I used it last night, is the Peter Thomas even smoother glycolic retinol resurfacing serum now think about it glycolic and retinol together is something you should be very very careful this is a warning please be careful and listen because glycolic retinol you don't want to use that every day because that can damage your skin if you're a person that use acid in the morning like before you do your skincare i don't recommend that but you know that's your skin you do whatever you want to do but if you're going to do that apply a heavy SPF and I'm talking about 50 or over because when you're using glycolic and retinol together or even separate you always want to have a heavy SPF never I would say never even below 30 50 and higher it has 15% glycolic acid complex 1.5% time release micro encapsulated retinol and this is by Peter Thomas I don't know how much this is I'll link the price right here to tell you guys how much this bad boy is but y'all, I used it and it's it, it's good. Now it says after just four weeks, 100% agreed skin did not feel tight or dry. 97% agreed the look of texture was improved. 97% agreed skin had improved clarity. Agreed skin looked renewed and less dull. Agreed skin, uh, I'm sorry, 94% agreed skin looked renewed and less dull. 91% agreed skin appeared even more even toned. Based on a four-week consumer perception study on 34 women ranging in age from 37 to 55. Honey, I am 20 and I'm going to still take care of my skin. I'm just going to test this out just for like a couple of weeks. I only, this is like a once a week type product. Okay, once a week. So whenever you're using glycolic or vitamin C or retinol, you have to use a heavy SPF because that stuff, that stuff can be damaging to your skin, especially if you're out in the sun. Like it will, some of them will tell you try not to be in the sun too much or even in the light. Because that stuff will start messing with your skin. Especially if you don't have a protector on. That's why I only do like toners and stuff at night. I don't do it in the morning. My skincare at night is very heavy because that's when your skin repairs itself. So, you know, put most of that stuff on at night. Like I said, it's your skin. But, you know, we'll get more into that once I do the skincare video next. But let's get into opening this. But, yeah, I got it because it got that SPF 50 in it. And it got this and the moisture search. So, we're going to open this first. And I feel like when you're starting off with skincare, always get the kits. Don't ever buy them singly. So this is stuff. I don't even know how much this will be by itself. But um, this is the After Sun Rescue Balm with Aloe. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I wonder. I'm going to put some on my skin. You know what I'm saying? But this is what this is. You know what I'm saying? And this is good. Like, if you're traveling... If you're traveling and you can't take such big stuff with you, travel kits. Travel skincare kits. Oh my gosh, look at that glow. It smells good though. It doesn't smell too bad. Um, travel skincare kits. 
they're pretty good. They're like amazing. They're amazing. I'm just gonna take it out of the paper. <laughs> next things next. Of course, you got the SPF 50 with SPF 50. Okay, hear me out. 50. Um, he did say it have a little tint to it, so it's not gonna give you that white cast. So I was like, okay, that's that's nice, that's nice. I'm seeing that's nice or whatever. I know I'm like, why do I still have some on my freaking hand? But um, I hate white cast sunscreens; they're the worst. But this is the 50, and last but not least, my favorite moisture surge. I love. I've never tried their spray, but I've tried their 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 uh, cream. This is good to take on the plane with you. This is good to just take outside. Like if you're outside all day and you like. I need moisture to my skin. This right here. This right here. Makeup or no makeup. You still need the hydration. Like this, this whole kit. I love it. I love it. It's you can use makeup with a lot. <laughs> so the next thing I got was I was getting trained on um Estee Lauder. Now, when I was talking about sun care, for example, um, this is a good serum to use every day because it does not, it has hyaluronic acid, but not too much of it, so you can wear this almost every day. I just wanted to mention that real quick. But, um, I got some stuff for Estee Lauder. It was a little bit, a little gratis. This is their new Red of, uh, Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. It's a little mini. And then, of course, I got their Advanced Night Repair um, uh, Serum. Can I speak today? Goodness gracious. But, yeah, I got this today from my sweet co-worker. And I love minis because look how cute this is to have in a little skincare basket. Like, look at that. Look how cute that is. It feels really good on the hand. Like, really, really good. But look at this. Look at this. It's so cute. Yeah, she gave me that. That was so sweet of her. And she gave me their advanced night repair. <laughs> I've never tried. The only thing I have full size is their day cream. But this runs for like $99 itself. Yeah. So this is the mini one of their um serum. That is so cute. This is so cute. I love it. Thanks, girl. Just give me a shout out to her. This video is going to be long, so I'll be preparing for it. Last but not least, uh, we got some new stuff that just came out. And it's some LA Girl lip oils. I saw them and I got all four colors. I had to get all four colors. They were so cute. Two of them are glitter or what all wall. Um, let me just show you all of them. And I like lip oils personally. Lip oils and lip glosses are like my favorite. But these are the four new colors we got in. Y'all, I have to get all of them. And of course, I got the OG concealers, of course. This was more like my contour shade or like bronzing shade. And then of course my highlight. But let's talk about these glosses real quick. Can we talk about these glosses real quick? So the first one is called Sheer Vanilla, of course. Um I honestly cannot film a video without everybody being in my video. Ooh. But, um, gosh, let me just pause the video because I'm going to go open these packages. Okay, we got to open. Yeah. The, the first one. It's a freaking struggle opening up these things. Gosh, Lee. But this one's called Sheer Vanilla. Oh, that smells good. Look at the doodle up, y'all. I'm going to swatch it anyways. Even though it's like clear, but y'all, lip oils are like so moisturizing. It smells like vanilla. That one's clear, of course. Oh my gosh. I could just see myself using this as an everyday freaking uh, gloss. And I had to buy all four. Every time we often just let this pass by, I had to. I like, I don't really have a lot of lip glosses in my collection, like for me. I'm like that, like a brand. Like, of course, I make my own, but still. So the next one is called Shimmer Grapefruit. This is a shimmer one, so y'all hold on for this one. Okay, this one's called Shimmer Grapefruit. Let's smell this one and see what this one's like. Oh, this one like grapefruit. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's watch this one. 
Oh, this one's glitter in it. And these run for $5.99. So the each one that I put up, the one that I'm showing you, I'm going to enter the name and then the price that goes with them. But this one is Shimmer Grapefruit, y'all. Period. Like, LA Girl has come up so much. They have so many goods. They even have new pals. And yes, I'm going to cop one of them suckers. Well, not right now. <laughs> this one's called Sheer Strawberry. Okay, this video's like 20 minutes long. Who cares? But this one's called Sheer Strawberry. Oh my god, this one's so good. And the packaging is cute too. Like, come on, LA girl. Come on. And their stuff is like super affordable. Like, their palettes are big palettes, are like $15.99. Like, that's like half a price of the freaking Morphe palettes. Ooh, this one look cute. This one's called Shimmer Coconut. Coconut. Okay, so we got Sheer Coconut, and this one's actually a glitter one as well. So, Sheer Coconut, like I said, I'm going to enter the name and the price on top. Okay. Come on, glitter, come through. Smells so good. So good. Like I was saying, this one smells so good. But yeah, they are five and nine each. Um. So there's four of them in the collection. I'll be sure to post pics on Instagram and stuff like that. So, but I will try and list everything on when I'm done editing my videos. I'll try to list everything on the bottom of the description box below. But yeah, other than that, I'm out of break because I have to go do something. Other than that, yes, like I said, we'll have a separate skincare video for all this stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul that I did. It's been one minute long for no reason. I talk a lot. But um, I hope you guys enjoy that. And let me know what y'all want to see. Like, y'all want to see my more new stuff and review it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do. But yeah, I will see you guys later. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. You know, go to the end of the video, which I need to do. And the deuces.